Hello and welcome to AutoInform Tool Supplement. My name is Frank Massey and these short clips are intended to introduce some of the tools we use when repairing and diagnosing faults of systems. I'd like to take a look at how we deal with common rail injectors, both their removal and the treatment of the seat, the pressure seat in the head. When you've removed an injector, quite often the seat has suffered contamination due to leakage of uh, gases from the cylinder and it's quite important that that seat is treated um, before refitting a new injector and new seal. Very simple but effective tool whereby we carefully remove a very small amount of material from the cylinder head. This can be done very carefully and it's important to ensure that the debris doesn't enter the cylinder. This is a prime consideration uh, due to the very close tolerances and the fact that you may have metallic swarf in the cylinder. Um, but to introduce the use of an end cutter so that we can remachine these seats and reintroduce a quality gas tight seal with the new injector. Removing the injectors can be difficult. There's a whole range of tools available and it's absolutely essential that a professional tool is used in the removal of an injector. This injector is partially stripped, mainly for the benefit of introducing the way in which some of these injectors can be removed. This particular tool sits very snugly over the injector, so where there are tight tolerances on the cylinder head, this tool will uh, meet that requirement very well. And by partially dismantling the injector, this mandrel can then be attached to the centre of the injector in a very high force can then be applied directly around the seat, the strongest part of the cylinder head, to the injector and in most cases that will remove the injector quite easily from the aperture. Other tools um, are, as this slide hammer introduces, where it's a simple matter of locating the slide hammer under the injector. This is a PD removal tool and by simply striking the tool against the reaction bar the injector will be withdrawn from the head. It's important correct tools are used because injectors can be very easily damaged. If the injector is stressed abnormally then you may well find that when you refit that injector, should it be suitable for refitting, that you actually have introduced a problem to the injector. So simply removing them and cleaning them and, and, and reinstalling them um, without the correct tooling could introduce problems internally. Therefore, we do recommend the use of these tools.